Praise the Lord, everybody. Good morning to another, another blessed morning that we are broadcasting live, and we thank God for His grace and His mercy on today. We give God all the praise, honor, and glory because all the glory belongs to Him. Without God, we are nothing. Amen. So we just thank God for another beautiful day in the Lord that He has allowed us to come before you and break forth and bring the, the Word of God on today. Blessing to Kingdom Environment Ministry. Blessing to each and every one of you on Facebook Live and YouTube and those of you who might even be viewing this later. I pray that this Word of God will um, be a blessing to you all and I pray that the Word of God will bring life, that it will bring light, that it will bring ease to your situation. Amen. So blessing to you all and um, it's a nice beautiful day and continue to be blessed in the Lord. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you all for joining us this morning. We pray that all is well with you and your family and your household and um, that you are, as Pastor said, you're enjoying this day, the day that the Lord has created just for us um, and, and celebrating him, um, worshiping him in all that we do um, in spirit and in truth and just um, looking forward to what God had in store for us. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> to God be the glory. Uh, just give me a minute, okay? Amen. <laughs> Carry on. Go ahead. <laughs> God is um, good. So, let's see. And I know everyone is um, excited that, you know, during this warm weather that we're able to get out and um, do a little bit more. Um, it's been wonderful to be able to... Um, be with others, be with family members, and um, just, you know, having these gatherings, small gatherings, and having that sense of freedom when we've, um, you know, when people have been vaccinated. You can just gather, and you don't have to worry about causing anyone else to get sick. So, um, but it's just, it's great to, to be able to gather. Um, and so hopefully, you know, we don't have to worry about taking, you know, we don't want to take things for granted. We don't want to take each other for granted. We don't want to take the fact that we can just be with each other, be in each other's presence, um, just being together again. It's, it's, it's a wonderful thing to be able to do that. Yes, ma'am, and it is. And uh, to God be the glory, and we thank God for his grace and his mercy. And it is a blessing that, um, you know, we're able to get out a little more and, you know, just do things and um, mangle a little bit, as we would say, but to God be the glory. We're going to continue to um, trust God through it all. And um, it's, it's just a blessing um, when you look back and think about what we not just went through, but the things that we experienced in life, and each and every day the things that we experienced in life, even with our, with our kids and grandkids. And uh, Let me just say this, and we'll try to move on. This is a generation I was sharing with my wife. I said, you know, the, as, the, as the old people used to say, we're pilgrim traveling through this land. We're traveling through. Amen. Uh, no one lives forever. What, I'm, what I am saying is that this is where it's our job, our responsibility to teach them and share the word of God with them. Is their responsibilities to share the Word of God with like the grandkids the kids and their kids because it's, it's like we have to do this and this is a generation let me say this this is a generation um, sometime want it quick they want it fast and they want it right then and there what am I saying is that here it is when it all said and done this is where we have to pour in like never before. Um, you know, the thing about it is that because if God be for us, who can be against us? So we, this is where we got to continue to pray for them, um, that they will continue to trust God through it all. I don't care how it looks, because the thing about it, God uses people to be a blessing to one another. Amen. That's what he does. He uses people. 
I, I don't care how things look. I don't care how things are going. When it all said and done, I am going to trust God through it all. I mean, he brought us this far. Why not trust him? Amen? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, <laughs> yeah, and, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a learning, it's a process. It's a learning process to get through that, to get to that place of trusting God no matter what. Uh -huh. um, for some, it yes. takes longer than others, but you know, everyone has their process to to get through that place of, and it, and it's a matter of growth and maturity. Um, it's just, yeah, everybody's not built the same, and it just it's just a matter of time. But um, you were, as you were speaking, it just reminded me. Of, you know, and, and also as I was saying, you know, I hope that everything is well. Everyone's doing good. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse Bless me. you. Thank you. Mm. Excuse me. <laughs> you need to get the lights on. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but then, as um, everyone is going through, you know, I just want to remember those that are going through at this mm -hmm. time, um, that are that have lost loved ones, um, and you know, we just want to keep people lifted up in prayer. Um, yes. you know, especially the Robinson family, we just, you know, they just lost their mother, um, and your classmate, his mother, um, transitioned, I don't want to say lost, but, <laughs> the, um, people have transitioned from this life, from this realm, um, and also, you know, some, another, another friend, um, they've lost their mother, so we just want to keep, um, it's, you know, it's just a matter of words. You know, we're used to saying mm -hmm. things. And I just said that I don't want to say that somebody lost someone because we didn't lose them. Amen. They're not lost. Amen. We know. <laughs> God knows. We know that God knows where they are. They're not lost. Exactly. But um, they, they have transitioned from this life. And um, so we just want to keep people lifted up in prayer because they're, even though, you know, people are ready to get out and enjoy life. As what we know, mm -hmm. but people are mourning. Amen. People are mourning the um, transitioning of their loved ones. So we just want to keep people lifted in prayer. Amen. Amen. So we're going to go ahead and move right on and blessing once again to each and every one of you all on this beautiful day, it's beautiful sunny day that the Lord has made. And wow, before you know it, next week will be into July, the seventh month. My God, I mean, this uh, not only just the month, but this this year is really, really shifting on. And this is where we're going to continue to continue to keep you all lifted up in prayer and continue that when it all settled, as it was saying, when the dust settled, but when it all said and done, that there is a place that God has already um, designed, not only designed, but as we continue to seek the heart of God, not only for a building, but for a place that we can all gather again together soon. Amen? Soon. And um, so we, we just trust and believe that it's already done. So to God be the glory as we go forth in the word of God. We'll start off with Psalm 91 and then we'll come back and bless the offering. Amen? If you have desire, not only if you have desire, if God has placed it on your heart to give, to be a blessing um, to this ministry and, and you know not only just the ministry but as far as the word of God being poured out not only just that because when you say the church we are the church we are the church a body of believers coming together amen um, as we continue to trust and believe that knowing this that God has better and great things already in line for his people amen so we'll go forth with Psalm 91, then we'll come back and bless the offering on today. Um, to God be the glory, amen, for all the things that he have done, amen. Hallelujah, to God be the glory. So Psalm 91, and um, I'll read from the King James v Version. And again, I will lead the reading. We ask that you read along with us, um, because this is about you and your relationship with with the word of God, mm -hmm. getting that word in your spirit, getting it in your heart so that you begin to speak it over your life, over your household, over your children, over your family members. Um, you know, having that word deeply rooted in your heart. And, you know, it is, you know, we, we, 
quote the same words and the scriptures over and over again because this is how we remember. This is mm -hmm. how we begin to remember the word, and this is how um, the word begins to come up out of you in, in situations. Yes. You know, when, when you're going through um, challenges uh, and trials and tribulations, yes. um, the, want the word, you want the word to be the first thing to come out of your mouth, not, <laughs> not um, the words that you're used to saying or words that you were um, in the habit of saying before you... Um, got into a relationship with Jesus Christ, but beginning to speak the word and how is it that we begin to know the word and have a relationship with it unless we're constantly mm -hmm. speaking it. And, you know, we, we know it, we know it by heart, but learn to speak it yes. constantly. Rehearse, you know? rehearse yeah. it. Amen. Amen. So um, Psalm 91 in the King James, if you will read along with us, it says that he that dwelleth, dwelleth in, in the secret, secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowl and from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers, and under His wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall I behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion, the adder, the young lion, and the dragon shall I trample on the feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life would I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory be unto the Most High God. Amen. And we thank him for his word. Amen. Without the word, I'll tell you what, I, I need that word. I need God's word each and every day uh, with all the, the chaos, the confusion, and all what's going on and Continue to just pray for people all around the world before we bless this often as um, you can share with them a couple ways that they can um, be a blessing to give. Amen. But let me just say this before we bless the often. Um, you know, um, and I'm quite sure a lot of you saw that where um, in Miami Dade where that building, um, that condo, um, it just, you know, collapsed. Um, nobody know, but continue to pray for those family and pray for um, different, um, each and every family, um, what's going on and, and thing about it is that, um, just like you never know, it, it just makes you wonder when you're out, you in, whether you're second, third, second floor, third floor, and we don't know. And that's why we tr not try. That's why we tell each and everybody it's very important that you keep this word, get this word, um, because things happen, and it's sad when you see that. And, you know, just like you said, you know, you didn't, you really don't even want to read about it because it's, you know, you got kids, you got, I mean, it's, you just, we just have to pray for um, those victims, those families. I mean, people are steady waiting um, to, to hear, you know, whether they're going to have good news or bad news. But, um, you know, let's just keep them lifted up in prayer. Because, um, you know, it's, it's crazy how that building just... I know. Well, uh, and, you know, yeah, it's just so heartbreaking. Um, yeah, I told Pastor, I just, I can't even um, bring myself to read it or listen to anything about it, really. But, this, but as Pastor was saying, you know, this is why it's so important for us to receives the gift, the free gift of salvation. Mm -hmm. This is why this is so important <coughs> to me. 
accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior because we don't know the moment or the second or the hour that that we're going to be taken from this world mm. or taken from this earth or removed from this earth because um, it, it, it's so important because after this, everyone on this earth will leave this earth. <laughs> we will have to leave this earth. And um, cause, as you said in the beginning, no one lives forever. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, I remember my aunt, you know, is, you know, she was given the news that she only had a certain amount of time to live. That she said, you know, don't cry because no one lives forever. Mm-hmm. And I know we're just so, we get so attached to each other and we don't want to be here without our loved ones. But we have to face reality. We have mm-hmm. to have to face the truth that no one lives forever. No one lives on this earth forever. And this is why it's so important for us to accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior because only he gives you life. Mm-hmm. Not only life on this earth, but life after we leave this earth. He gives us eternal life. We can only have eternal life in Jesus Christ. He is the life. He is the light. He is the resurrection. Yes. He is the redeemer of our souls. He is he, he is all that we need. He is Savior. Amen. This is why we need him as our Lord and Savior Amen. to have eternal life. And when we have eternal life, we will see each other again. Mm-hmm. This is what his word says. This is what he promises us, that we will see our loved ones again. But we have to accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. There are no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Yes. And there's no other way around it. Amen. He is the only way. Amen. To life, eternal life. Amen. Hallelujah. So like I said, just we just continue to keep praying and um you know the thing you know it could ha- it could have happened anywhere but um it's just this just keep families and victims mm-hmm. lifted up in prayer um just um, share with them a couple ways that they can give and then we'll come back and bless the offering and read the scripture amen that's fine um if you have desire to Give to the ministry, give to the church, um, give and be a blessing how God has given to you, amen, and um, just pull back and not only just pull in, but pull back into what God has blessed you, amen, Um, he gives to you, we should always learn to give to him freely, amen. And you know, um, I got so excited about speaking of salvation and receiving Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You know, there's nothing special that you have to do except believe and sp- believe in your in your heart. Um, believe in your heart and um, confess mm-hmm. confess with your mouth that He is Lord, and believe that He was raised from the dead. And you don't. There's nothing else you need to do to receive salvation. You know, we're we're grateful that we get to give. Mm-hmm. That we get to give our tithes. We're, we're excited um, that we get to give tithes and offering um, unto the Lord to do his work, to do whatever he has called us to do. Because it takes money. It takes Amen. finances for that. It does. We get excited. But don't get this wrong that you need to give in order to receive salvation. There's no amount of money that you can give to any church mm-hmm. that's going to um, um, help you to get to heaven. So, but yes, we get excited when it's time to give because, you know, the Lord is a giver. He, God is a giver. So we get excited that we get to give back. Amen. So, and if you, if God is laying it upon your heart to give or sow a seed or um, to, 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 to tithe with this church, with this ministry, oh yeah, we're, we're excited. We're excited for you. Amen. Because it's an opportunity to give and watch your seeds grow and, and to see the harvest come harvest. come forth in your life. Amen. But, um, yeah, be moved by his spirit. Be moved by his spirit and by his word. His word tells us to tithe. And and, and our offering, you know, his, his spirit leads us to, to give him more, even beyond the offering that, mm-hmm. he, that he instructs us to give in his Bible. 
or in his word. <laughs> so if you have a desire to give, if the Lord is laying it upon your heart, you have um, two ways to give and to sow into this ministry. Um, it's by P.O. Box. If you want to mail a check or money order, please do not mail cash to the P.O. Box. And that P.O. Box is 544 Goose Creek, South Carolina, 29445. Again, that's P.O. Box 544 Goose Creek, South Carolina, 29445. And if you want to give electronically, you can do so through Givelify. That's G-I-V-E-L-I-F-Y. Givelify, you can sow electronically. Um, you'll just go on that website or that app and um, search for pastor's name, Pastor Samuel Middleton. Or you can search for Kingdom Empowerment Ministries, and you can give through that platform. Amen. Luke 6 and 38. Luke 6 and 38. I just want to read it before we bless the orphan, and I'm quite sure you had time to um, prepare your hearts and mind for an orphan to the Lord. Um, we want to come back and raise it up and bless the Lord. Amen. Luke 6 and 38 says, Give. And it shall be given unto you, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over shall men give unto your bosom. For with the same measure that ye met withal shall be measured to you again. Again, amen. That means when I give to God, it's coming back. Amen. It's coming back. I mean, and, and, and the Bible also tells us that God loves a cheerful giver. Amen. So when God gives to us, we can't learn to hold on to everything. We can't hold everything. Because uh, the thing about it, our life even is not our own. Our life belongs to you, Lord. So as we lift this offering up onto the Lord on today, and we're going to bless this. Father, we thank you, dear God, for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We give you praise, honor, and glory on today. Father, we thank you, dear God, for every tithe giver, every seed sower. Those that have purpose in their heart to be a blessing to give to you. Father, we thank you right now, dear God, that they will receive this seed back a hundredfold return. Oh, my God. Glory. Hallelujah. A hundredfold return. And Father, we thank you, dear God, for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We ask your blessing upon this offering. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. You know, uh, when I was praying, and this, a lot of times... And I'm quite sure you know this also. A lot of times people think, and they think it's just giving the money, just giving the money. But it's so much protection, even with Psalm 91, and even with this, it's so much protection that when we give to God, I mean, the Bible said also in Malachi that he will rebuke the devourer. The bill, not only just the bill collector, I mean, the, the thing about it is that here it is, things come to, watch this, you might say, well, I get paid this week, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that, and I get paid next month, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that, I get paid tomorrow, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do this, you go, you saying what you going to do, but then if we don't put God first, that's where that devour come and just eat your money all up, just eat it up. Eat it up, eat it up. And what I'm saying, eat it up, mean that all of a sudden you're like, man, I just did this. I didn't know I had this going on with my car. I didn't know I had this going on with my house. I didn't know all these stuff just come up all of a sudden. Why? Because we don't give to God first. The devourer, it comes to snatch it away from you. Amen. And that's why we got to give to God first. He'll hold it back, rebuke it. Amen. In New York. Our My tithing, Lord. Mm. tithing and giving is part of our worship. Yes, it is. Big time. <coughs> big time worship. Amen. It's part of our worship because, you know, it's what we do. It's all that we do. Yes. It's part of our worship unto the Lord. And, mm -hmm. um, and yes. our worship, and that we're, it's, that's part of our, our, it's our covering. Yes. It's a shield. It's as you worship, you know, um, when we worship and it's not just, you know, in song, mm -hmm. but it's in what you do, how you live. Yes. What you get, because your giving is part of your living. Amen. As Amen. you give, this is, if, 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 what you give is part of your life. Mm-hmm. And your life is your, your worship. John so 3, is it, are you worshiping the Lord or are you worshiping mm -hmm. your job? Who gives you the finances? Wow. Amen. And then, you look, if we worship the job, is the job, is the money, is that protecting us? 
It can't protect us because your money can't fall. It can't be with you wherever you go. Money can't protect you like the Lord can. So again, it's part of our worship unto the Lord. It's part of our trust, mm -hmm. you know, and as we're given, um, and, and, you know, and I'll speak for myself in my own life, you know, I had to realize that, um, you know, it was a matter of trust and my trust in God with, with what he has given me. And, you know, it doesn't make it, when you think about it, why can't you trust God with what he has given? If he's given you that much, would he not give you more? Much is given, much is required. Amen. Would he not give you even more than what he has already given you? That's if it. he's given me a hundred dollars, you know, I, I, I can't trust him with, with, with the, mm -hmm. how much do I trust him with the hundred dollars? Do I trust him enough with a hundred dollars to give him back Amen. $10? Amen. Can I not give $10? Can I not trust him with the 90 if he gave me a hundred? Amen. You know, you, you just begin to sit down and really think about this thing. Why can't I trust him with 90 if I can, I, why can't I trust him with 90 if I can trust him with a hundred? So let's just stop and think about that. Cause I mean, really, he's the one that gave it to us. Mm -hmm. He gave us the, the energy, the, 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 the know-how to be able to do what we're doing. Cause we're not doing this on our own. But, um, so that's my soapbox on giving. <laughs> so if, um, are we ready to hear the word? Is, Amen. Is there anything else that needs to be said? And then we'll, we we'll come that? back, uh, after church also, you know, today and we'll come back with after church. Amen. After the word is being preached. Amen. All right. So, um, let us get our hearts and minds and I hope it's already prepared. It was prepared before you logged on that your hearts and mind are ready to hear what the Lord has to say through the man of God. And um, as we get ready to uh, apply, learn, and, and think about what is being said so that we can take this word and run with it and live with it. Mm -hmm. so, all right, so um, I'll come back. I will step aside for this part of the service, and we will come back for after church. At about eleven, probably at about eleven thirty, eleven thirty-five. Okay. You ready, Pastor? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. To God be the glory. We thank God for His grace, and we thank God for His mercy, and we give God all the praise and all the honor and all the glory belongs to God. Amen. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Blessing, blessing, blessing once again. We bless God for the word of God, and we bless God for each and every one of you all. Amen. Um, so we, we thank God once again for everything and all that is said thus so far. Amen. So to God be the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you are excited? Not only excited for the word of God, because it's the word that gives life. Amen. It's the word that brings clarity to any dull and any situation or anything that you're going through. It's God's word that heals his word, that delivers his word, his word that sets us free. Even in the midst of the pandemic of COVID-19, it's the word of God that keeps us going. And hallelujah. People don't understand. They look at you. And say, How do you navigate? How are you able to do this? How are you able to keep going? How are you able to keep moving on and on and focusing the word of God that keeps me going. It's the word of God. It's God's word. Amen. Hallelujah. It's the Holy Bible. It's the scriptures. Amen. Hallelujah. Already written in the script. So to God be the glory as we go forth in the word of God on today. We thank God for his grace and his mercy. Blessing to all of you all once again and blessing. I say good morning um, to uh, Kingdom Empowerment Ministry. Blessing to our Facebook Live family, um, we want to say blessing to all of you all locally and internationally. You have truly been a blessing to us, even as we transition for the future. When I say transition, even from where we at in this room to a um, not just a facility, a building, a however God has for the church, 
Uh, we're going to still do it Facebook Live. We're going to still do it YouTube Live. We're going to still do it the way God's need his word to get out. Amen. It's all about getting the word of God out to the people of God. Amen. Hallelujah. You, you, you see, you might say, well, you know what? The word. But it's the little things that I need. It's the little thing that the word of God helped me to just keep going forward and keep moving in the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. So today, and I, and I, you know, I'm, I'm just still meditating on that from Wednesday night. Um, the man or the money. Mm. My God, we have choices, people of God. We have choices. God has given us choices. We ha we we can choose. You know, we can choose either. Uh, Jesus, or we can choose the, the, the world living. But you know, I don't know about you. Like Josh is say for me and my house, we uh, we're gonna serve the Lord. Amen. We're gonna serve the Lord. So it brings me to this point. Bring me to right where I need to not only just pick up from, but turn with me to the book of Isaiah, the, the book of Isaiah, Old Testament reading, the book of Isaiah, the prophet Isaiah, chapter forty, verses. 28 okay you know what I'm, I'm gonna start with uh, yeah I'm, I'm gonna start with 20 and I start to go at 29 let's look at Isaiah 40 verses 28 through 31 28 through 31 the book of Isaiah amen Isaiah 28 it said has thou not known has thou not heard that the everlasting God the Lord the creator of the ends of the earth fainteth not God don't faint amen and then it said neither is weary there is no searching of his understanding hallelujah then verse 29 it said he gave us power to the faint and to them that have no might he increased strength so when you feel like you can't go on when you feel like you can't go no further just look up and call upon the almighty god call upon jesus amen he's your help amen he said he give his power to the faint and to them that have no might he increased strength and then verse 30 said, even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young man shall utterly fall. But 31 said, but they that wait, and all of these other stuff, all when it all said and done, he tells us right here in his word of God in Isaiah 31, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength, they shall mount up with wings of eagles, they shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Hallelujah. I want to talk to you for a few moments on today. Uh, when you look at verse 31, it said, But they that wait upon the Lord. They didn't say wait upon man. Well, I'm just waiting on me a husband. I'm waiting on me a wife. I'm waiting God. That, that, wait, wait on God. Amen. Upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings of eagle. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Wait. We're talking about the title on this today. Is waiting to exhale. Waiting. To exhale. Wow. Waiting. To exhale. Amen. Waiting to exhale. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Oh, we bless God for that. Amen. Waiting to exhale. Amen. So when you think about it, the Bible tells us strictly, God tells us, let me, let me just say this. He tells us right here, but they, he tells us, but they that wait upon, he tells us who to wait upon. We should wait upon him. 
and and this is where we renew our strength this is where we not only just renew our strength but this is where we get all of our strength from so this is where when you think about it we can breathe a little more now we can move about now we can gather together again now i'm gonna say it again we can breathe a little more now we can and move about now we can gather together again now we can travel now but when I think about the now now is Hebrews 11 and 1 said now faith is the substance of thing hoped for the evidence of thing that is not seen Glory, hallelujah. So there was some things that you've been waiting on the Lord. You've been waiting until COVID passed. You've been waiting until um, this pandemic is over. You've been waiting, you've been waiting, you've been waiting. While you were waiting, you were praying, but you were waiting with expectation and anticipation. Expectation and anticipation that you were waiting on God, my sisters and brothers. He didn't left you. He didn't leave you. He said, I will never leave you, First Lady Jackie. He said, I'll never forsake you. He said, I will be with you even until the end of the world. Amen. People leave you. This one leave you. That one leave you. You know, business closed down. We see in the, po in the pandemic, uh, restaurant and different things went out of business. Amen. So, but but what I'm what I, what I am saying is that here it is. This is where we got to continue to wait and trust God. How do we wait and trust God? We're talking about waiting. Who to exhale? Waiting to exhale. Amen. But let me just say this. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, God, for the Word of God. And once again, we bless God for each and every one of you all. On today and I'm telling you it, it is an a exciting not only exciting day but there's excitement in the air there's so much not only just in the air in the atmosphere and I'm telling you through the waiting that you've been waiting to exhale you know you saying well you know what not only I can breathe again but the thing about it is that here it is you can be able to move around a little freely but you still got to be careful amen we still have to be careful. Hallelujah. We still have to be careful. Amen. Let me just say this. Okay. But please don't. Please. While you moving about a little more, while you're going about, whether it's vacation, whether it's gathering, whether it's family member, whether it's sitting around a table, however that gathering is. But please, ma'am, please, sir. Don't forget about the Almighty God. Don't forget about the Almighty God. While you were waiting, while you were anticipation, while you were just in expectation move, you were still waiting, but you were waiting with the Lord on your mind. Glory, hallelujah. Mm. Holy Ghost. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Thank God for Jesus. Amen. But please don't forget. Let me say, please don't forget about the almighty God, the creator of heaven and earth. Amen. The one who created, the one who created you and I for a purpose and he has a plan for you and I. He has a purpose, but he also have a plan. Now, you might say, well, pastor, you know, first lady, this is my plan. This is, this is what I'm going to do after the pandemic. This is, uh, you know, this is how I'm going to do it. This is what I got in mind. This is how I'm, I'm thinking this. This is how I, I, no, 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 no. Don't exclude God out of your plan. Because while the whole time we, you were waiting to exhale, God had, watch this, God has everything in his hand. You know what we always say? He has the whole wide world in his hand. Amen. He's the man with the plan. Glory. Hallelujah. He's the, he has the master plan. Amen. Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. He is the ultimate, ultimate 
source for our life. Amen. So what am I saying is that here it is. When you think about your plan, we got to think about what the word of God says in Jeremiah 29 and 11. Glory. Hallelujah. The book of Jeremiah, prophet Jeremiah. Amen. He said, Jeremiah 29 and 11. He said, God said, told Jeremiah, you know, Okay, let me go back. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord, I hear you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mm, yes, Lord. Before I go to Jeremiah 29 and 11, Jeremiah 1 and 5, he said, you know, when he said, he starts off, before I formed thee in the belly of thy mother, I knew thee. I ordained thee to be a prophet to the nation. So the thing about it is that here it is, God know us before we know ourselves. Amen. So when you think about your purpose, your plan, as Jeremiah 29 and 11 said, he said, for I know the thoughts that I think toward you, said the Lord. Thoughts of what? Peace. Thoughts of peace and not evil. And to give you what? An expected end. Amen. So what am I saying is that here it is, when, 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 we, when we include, not exclude, not exit God out, but bring him in by inviting the Holy Spirit into your heart each and every day, not when all this is over, you say, well, you know, I'm going to serve God, I'm going to go to church, I'm going to worship, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sing, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to study my Bible, I'm going to do all this. What were you doing while you were still waiting to exhale? Mm, my God. Glory. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Waiting to exhale. Amen. Waiting to exhale. So this is where, when you think about it, he said, renew our strength. Renew. Renew. We renew our driver's license. We renew different things, and, um, you know, uh, when you think about it, when the driver license, when it expires, we, we renew it. We renew our vows. Um, yes, we got that coming up, I know. <laughs> Look, I put myself on the spot, y'all. <laughs> yes, yes, we didn't do the 25, but 30. Thank God that we're going to make that. Amen. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. So, um People do a lot of things with it with, when you think about it, renew. But I love the way how God says it. Amen. Renew strength with God. All things are new. Not something. All things are new. He makes everything beautiful in his timing. And when is your turn? Oh, my God. He makes everything beautiful in his timing when it's your turn. Amen? Amen? Just wait. Just wait Wait until your turn. Hallelujah. It's just like, you know, the thing about it is that here it is. When we go somewhere, however, when, when you're in line or whatever, you, gotta, you might say, it's my time. But it might not be your turn. Oh, my God. Glory. Hallelujah. So that's why we have to wait. I don't care how God, bless, when you think about it, how God has blessed your neighbor, how God has blessed your friend, your family member. When it all said and done, you just wait. Yours is coming. Hallelujah. It's the blessing is, oh my God. Yes, Lord. Mm. The blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich and addeth no sorrow. Yes, Lord. I hear you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Glory. Hallelujah. The blessing of the Lord, hallelujah. You got God blessing, hallelujah, glory, hallelujah. Thank God for his grace and his mercy. Oh, my God. Mm. You know, um, a couple months ago, not only um, that I pastor, a preacher of the word of God, um, but let me just say this. That's the occupation, that's the vocation, but the occupation also, I'm in sales as far as sell cars, sell Honda. Let me just say this. But I'll never forget a couple of months ago, my wife and I, we were up in Virginia visiting my in-laws and, um, you know, still getting calls from different customers saying, you know, when are you, not when are you coming back, but are you in today and different things like this. Um, 
But the thing about it is that what am I saying is that here it is. If you treat people, if you do what's right, people will what? Wait on you, first lady. They will wait on you. Oh, I'm going to wait until you get back. I'm going to wait. I, I'm going I'm to, well, you know, I got somebody else that can help. But no, no, Sammy, we want to wait on you. We want to wait on you. You see, the thing about it is it's your pers not only your personality, but it's integrity. is how you carry yourself, how you conduct yourself. People will say, I'm going to wait on this person right here. Amen? So what I am saying is that a couple months ago when we were in Virginia visiting my in-laws, and I'll never forget this, even though, you know, it stuck with me. My father-in-law, he said this. Because he, he was always in. in the day, he said, you know, in the college. He said, he said, Seth, I'll follow you wherever you go. Amen. Suck. Success will follow you wherever you go. Oh my God. Somebody should write that down. Success will follow you wherever you go. Success, not the job, not the business, but success. Somebody ought to type that in. Success will follow you wherever you go. Amen. Success will follow you wherever you go at. Amen. So in other words, it's not about them. It's not a, what, what am I, what am I saying is that here it is. God, oh my God, it's, it's something that's wired in all of us to be a blessing to one another. Is, is, is God success? Like he told Joshua. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Mm. My Lord. Hallelujah. Thank God for his grace. Oh, my God. Thank God for his mercy. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Let me let me just, let me go here. I got to go here. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Let me just, uh, hallelujah. Joshua 1 and 8, and we're going to move on. Amen. Joshua 1 and 8. He said, the book of the law shall not depart. He said, the book of the law mean God. While Joshua was waiting, he was studying, he was trusting God. He said, the book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. Amen. But he said, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. We are to meditate on the word of God day and night, not only on Sunday, not only when the preacher gets up, not only on Wednesday, we got to meditate while we're waiting. Oh my God, glory. Meditate while we're waiting. Amen. He said, meditate there in day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein, according to all that is written in this book. And then he said, for then you want, you want that, you want Oh my God. But he said, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. And then thou shalt have good success. Amen. Good success. Then he said, have I not command thee? Be strong and be of good courage. Be not afraid. Neither be thou dismayed. For who? The Lord thy God is with thee whatsoever thou goest. So, so in, in, in other words, we can... Oh my God, good success come by not this way you act, by what you're doing, but it comes by trusting and meditating on the word of God day and night because God is the one who make you have great and good success. Amen. Oh my God. Glory. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I just had to go there um, that, you know. And, and it's, the, it's God's word, amen. It's the word of God, amen. And the thing about it is that, oh, glory, hallelujah. Mm, my God, it's the word of God, hallelujah. My God, mm, 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 Jesus, hallelujah. Thank God for his grace. Thank God for his mercy. Oh, my God. Let me just, 
move on. Amen. Hallelujah. And oh my God, I'm I'm this I'm just meditating, and the more I begin to meditate and see, the thing about it is that here it is. We even have better rest. We even have we sleep good when we meditate on the Word of God. Hallelujah. When we trust the word of God. Amen. While we're waiting to exhale. Amen. Hallelujah. And I know a lot of you said, oh, my God, I'll, I'll be glad when this is over the pandemic. I'll be glad that we can go to this place. We can do this. We can gather. We can do that. It's like you're waiting to exhale. Mm, my God. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Glory. Let me just say this. Thank God for his grace and thank God for his mercy. Amen. So this is where God wants us. When you think about it, we, we walk in the word. We walk in the word and we, we should always walk with the word. Amen. We should walk in the word, which we're studying the word. We walk in the word. The word should be in us as we're walking, as we're talking, as we're moving, as we're going about our everyday living. It's the word of God that's going to help us. It's the word of God that's going to allow us to have good success, not just success. Amen. I thank God for Jesus. Amen. Glory, hallelujah, it's, it's Jesus, amen, it's, 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 oh my God, Mary's baby, it's the Lord's doing, and it's marvelous in their eyes, amen, the only thing you do as God begin to bless, as God begin to pour out, as God begin to elevate, as God begin to just overflow you with his blessing, my sister and my brother, you just stay humble, amen, glory, hallelujah, Mm. My mom used to say, a humble, a humble child tastes the grace. She would always say that an humble child tastes the grace. She said, just wait, you see it. Meaning that only thing she was just telling me as coming up, stay humble, stay, let's stay humble. Meaning that no matter how much stuff, no matter how much success you have, no matter how much degrees you have, you got to remember, you got to stay humble humble stay humble continue to trust god and you know just let people see the life and the light that's in you knowing that is jesus christ knowing that it's all about you god it's all about jesus amen hallelujah it's all about jesus amen hallelujah glory hallelujah mm. we give god praise and we give God honor on today. Oh, my God. Glory. Hallelujah. God is good, y'all. All the time and all the time. He is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me just say this. Because the Bible tells us when I said earlier, we, we need to walk this thing out as the word is in us. Because the Bible tells us clearly you have it in your Bible. You can find it on your phone. You can have it with right here. Galatians 5 and 25. In the Galatians 5 and 25, Galatians 5 and 25, it said, if we live, and I love the way it said, if, if we live in the spirit, oh my God, also let us walk in the spirit, amen, hallelujah, glory, hallelujah, mm, my God, glory, hallelujah, Galatians 5 and 25, amen, to God be the glory. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. God is good, y'all. God is good. Oh, my God. How do you know he's good? Then he woke you up this morning. You didn't wake yourself up. Hallelujah. Were you in your right mind? That's how you know God is good. Amen. Hallelujah. Some went on to be with the Lord, but God is still good. In spite of sickness, in spite of, in spite of death, in spite of illness, in spite of the good and the bad, the Bible said he reigns on the just and the unjust. Glory. Hallelujah. No house is exempt. What am I saying is that here it is. It's the word that sustain us. Glory. Hallelujah. It's God's grace and mercy. Oh, I thank God for Jesus. Amen. I thank God for Jesus. I thank God for Jesus. 
every day. You know, sometimes people watch you, they look at you and see how you prosper and see how you're moving, see how you're doing things, see how God is just blessing you. And they think it's your look, it's think it's your mind, it's think it's your ability, it's think of how you're doing it. They don't understand. Oh my God, you don't know how I pray. You don't know how I fast. You don't know how, I, oh my, I just love the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh my God, I just love the Lord. Like Jesus told Peter in Luke 6 and 46, he said, why call ye me Lord, Lord, mm, and do not the thing that I've called you to do. And when and so he told Peter, Peter, if you do you love me more than these? Do we love God even though we're by, watch this, going back out into the environment of the world system? The world system. But we got to stay in God's word, amen? It's the word, hallelujah. It's the word that's going to keep us. It's the word that's going to allow us to continue to, to navigate our way through life's ups and down. The Bible said it rains on the just and the unjust. No house is exempt. There's no house is exempt, amen? Good times hit this house, hit that house. No house is exempt. But this is where we trust God's word. We thank God for the Holy Spirit. We thank God for his son, Jesus. Amen. He died for, for not just some, but he died for all. Amen. All. All. Amen. I don't care how you look at it. Jesus died for all of us. Amen. That's why John 3, 16 say, for God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believes shall not perish, but have my everlasting life is in you, Jesus. It's in you, God. Oh, how we love Jesus. Amen. Mm, my God. Hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the things that he has done. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Mm. In closing. Hallelujah. My God. In closing. Let me say this. You know, when you think about waiting to exhale. Amen. When you think about waiting to exhale, we're not talking about the movie like Angela Bassett played in and the other young ladies that they played in. We're not talking about that movie. And I know some of you that, you know, that the first thing when God gave me that topic, I thought about that movie, waiting to exhale. That's, you know, you waiting to exhale. That's just, you know, when you think about it, that's just temporary. But with God, when we wait until exhale, that's permanently as we trust God. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. As we trust God through it all. Mm. Last but not least, in closing, let us go to the book of Isaiah. We are in the book of Isaiah. Let us go to um, chapter 43. I want to read these two verses. Amen. And we're going to continue to keep moving. Hallelujah. Keep the seat belt on. Enjoy the ride. Glory. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Mm. Isaiah 43, verses 1 and 2. 43, verses 1 and 2. Glory. Hallelujah. Mm. People might look at you and say, oh, my God, God bless you with this god bless you with that sister god bless you with that brother god did this god did that oh my god mm, struggles are real but you don't know to trust god through it all amen hallelujah i just trust him through it all hallelujah isaiah 43 verse 1 and 2 amen 43 1 and 2 it said but now thus said the lord that created thee O jacob and that he that formed thee, O Israel, then he, God tells us to fear not. Fear not. Then he said, For I have redeemed thee, I have called thee by thy name. God said, Thou art mine. Amen. He said, When thou pass it through COVID 19, the waters. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. This is the Lord's. Hey, amen. When thou passest through the pandemic, the waters, I will be what? I will be with thee. Amen. And through the rivers, they shall not what? Overflow you. God said, I'm right there. Amen. 
And then it said, when thou walkest through the fire, oh my God, when you seem like things is all getting hard, things tight, when it all said and done, you can't go the extra mile. God said, trust me, I got you, my sister. Hallelujah, I got you, my brother. Hallelujah. He said, when thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall thy flame kindle upon thee. Oh, my God. When I read that scripture, Pastor Jack, I just thought about the three Hebrews, boy. Amen. They, they went in the fire. Glory. Hallelujah. King Nebuchadnezzar, they went in there. They said, I don't care. I'm not bowing down. We're going to just continue to wait and trust God. Amen. Hallelujah. And they went in there. Glory. Hallelujah. Long story. But when they came out, no smoke, smell, or nothing. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Wouldn't you want to serve a God like that? Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. Ah, I just feel like dancing. I just feel like shouting. I just feel like this. Praising the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. I thank God for his grace, and I thank God for his mercy. Hallelujah. Oh, you ought to put in there. Glory. Hallelujah. I'm coming out. You ought to put in there. Somebody ought to text that, um, type that in. I'm coming out. Even though I'm in some things, but I'm coming out. And this could be your coming out celebration today. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. I'm coming out. Hallelujah. You ought to type that in and say, I'm coming out, Pastor. I'm coming out. I don't care what are the things, all the things that I've experienced through last year, through a year and a half, even though I still trust God, but I am coming out. Glory. Hallelujah. My God. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Oh, we bless God for that. Amen. I'm coming out. Hallelujah. I'm coming out. Hallelujah. Last but not least, let me wrap this up for you. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Mm, mm, my God. Hallelujah. When you see me now, but when you see me later, glory. Hallelujah. The blessing of the Lord. Hallelujah. My God. This is where, when you think about it, while we wait, there's a lot of weight. Amen. Weight versus weight. W-A-I-T. Versus W E I G H T. Weight versus weight. Amen. There's a lot of weight. When you think about it while you are waiting, W A I T, don't worry about the W E I G H T is going to fall off. Amen. Don't worry about the gym. Don't worry about the YMCA. What I'm saying is that keep exercising your faith. In the word of God. Amen. Keep exercising your faith. In the word of God. Amen. Trust God. Put him first. Glory. Hallelujah. When it all said and done. He knows about you. He cares about you. He knows the in and the out. Amen. It's the heartbeat of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Lord. In closing. On this right here. While we are waiting. We should just pray and seek the Lord. Luke 18 and 1. Luke 18 and 1. It said, and he spake of a parable unto them. This is Jesus. In Luke 18 and 1. And he spake of a parable unto them to the end. That men ought to pray and not faint. Pray. Pray. And not faint. Meaning that continually trust in God. In the thing that you experienced, the thing that you went through. Oh my God. Continually trust God through it all. Don't worry about this one. Don't worry about that one. Glory, hallelujah. Just keep praying. Keep trusting. Keep pushing. Keep pressing on and on and on. And thank God for his grace and thank God for his mercy. Hallelujah is the highest praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Waiting to exhale. And a lot of times we say, oh my God, we can breathe a little better. We can exhale a little better. You know, the thing about it is that here it is. I, I find, I was telling my wife, I said, you know, sometimes when I go in Walmart and different places, I see more and more Lysol that's staying on the shelf now, and that is a blessing. 
Um, you know, the thing about it, we don't have to try to rush to say, well, this store got this, this store got this. Um, this, this continue to keep waiting on God. God, God, thank God for Jesus. Thank God for the Holy Spirit. God will provide in the midst of what we're going through, waiting to exhale. You can exhale now. Amen. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, we bless God for the word of God and we thank God for his grace <clears throat> and we thank God for his mercy. I'm going to this, um, right now and to God be the glory. We'll come back right at about 1130 with after church to God be the glory for all the wonderful things that he has done. I'm telling you, God is, oh my God is always in the blessing business. Amen. You just continue to keep waiting. I, I'm telling you, we can't go around spending time in the word of God and spending time with God. Amen. Hallelujah. My God, don't worry about time. God, God got time. God, God, God keeps up with time. Amen. Don't worry about time. Amen. When it's your turn, oh my God, it's going to happen. Amen. When is your time? It's going to happen. Amen. So what am I saying is that here it is. When it all said and done, trust the Lord and you're going out. Trust him and you're coming in. Amen. Hallelujah. While you wait, the other weight is going to just drop off. Hallelujah. Yes, I understand there's some things that you got to do, but I'm going to wait and trust God. Isaiah 40, we, we read it. It said, those that wait upon the Lord, just wait on him. Trust the word. As Bishop would always say, trust the process, son. Trust the process. Trust God. Just wait on God. The change is going to come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we bless God for the word of God on today. And I just want to, before I close, I thank God for each and every one of you all who have logged on. And I pray that it's been a blessing, even as you share this. Um, and those, uh, someone might be um, that don't know Jesus, that you can share this word of God with them. I pray that it has been a blessing. It has blessed my soul. You know, first thing when the Lord shared that with me, waiting to exhale. Oh, well, I thought about the movie, waiting to exhale. I was like, okay, God, God said, now nah, go to Isaiah 40. Oh, my God, tell my people to wait on me. Continue to wait on me. Continue to just trust me. Continue to just, uh, just stand still. Glory, hallelujah. I got this. Amen. Hallelujah. But I just want to, before I close, as the Bible tells us in Romans 10 and 9, if thou confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thy heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. And there could be one that don't know Jesus. There could be one that don't have a relationship with Jesus. Amen. It could be you. It could be in your household or someone you know. You could just, Lord, let me pray for that individual right now. It could be a family member. It could be a, a, um, a neighbor. It could be a friend, a coworker, however. God wants to heal you. God wants to save you. God, I'm telling you, God is always in the blessing business. Glory, hallelujah. The Bible said no one comes to God unless the Holy Spirit draws them. Amen. Hallelujah. How does the Holy Spirit operate? He operates in the earth realm of you and I. Glory, hallelujah. As we continue to trust the process in the word of God, the Holy Spirit works in you and I. And what he does, he uses you and I to draw people to him, to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. So I just want to pray this pray. Father, I pray, dear God, there could be one that's watching even now or later. I pray, dear God, for that boy, that girl, that family member, husband, wife. I don't know who it is, but Father, I pray, dear God, that someone will receive Jesus, that they will receive salvation. Father, we thank you right now for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. Only thing you would have to do is just say, Lord, I surrender all to you on today. Just give it all to him. When it all said and done, God got you. God got you. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you, dear God, for saving their souls, saving them on today. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessing to each and every one of you all. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. And we thank God for his grace. And we thank God for his mercy on today. 
Um, as I said earlier, we'll come back with after church shortly in about 20 minutes, probably right at 1130. And we'll go forth from there. To God be the glory. We love you all with the love of Jesus Christ. We love you all, my sisters and brothers. I'm telling you, glory, hallelujah. Why you W-A-I-T, don't worry about the W-E-I-G-H. Come on, man. Come on, T. Amen. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. So we bless God for his grace. And we bless God for his mercy. We love you all with the love of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To God be the glory. Blessing, blessing, blessing. Remember, miracle is not in your house. Your miracle is in your mouth. Speak life and speak the word of God to any dormant or dead situation that you're experiencing. Amen. Hallelujah. Love you and bless you all. Amen.